everywhere, and right? Gloves, Chilly hat, there. Yeah. West Lafayette. Mm -hmm. Probably can get tickets for the game still. Yeah. Uh, we have got a Ranby factor this evening of five. It's tolerable for being working outside the wind. So very strong, making it tough. Could be a sprinkle or two in the air, but temperatures are in the 50s. Live Super Doppler 7 radar. See here, 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 here. Those are little sprinkles showing up. Some not reaching the ground. A few of those spots are down here around Neola between there and Underwood in Pottawatomie County. A couple more sprinkles now showing up here into western Douglas County, Elkhorn down into Millard. So you'll just see one or two of these this evening farther west. A couple just southwest of Columbus and west of Humphrey and west of Madison. So Anybody will see one or two of these. Nothing very heavy, no measurable rain, I think, for the evening. You can see the low cloud cover, which uh, kind of popped up in the afternoon north of us and is now rotated back down through Omaha. More widespread across Iowa, lots of clouds. Chilly northwest winds continuing. And as you look at this Midwestern view here, you can kind of tell, okay, so here's the jet stream diving down here. Look at that moisture coming up. You're going to spin up this area of low pressure over the Great Lakes the next couple of days, which will keep the wind blowing here. Fortunately, these are the strongest winds we're going to see, but still pretty gusty winds tomorrow and then a warmer southwest breeze on the way for Wednesday. 50s this evening, partly cloudy, maybe a sprinkle, mostly clear later on tonight. There'll still be a breeze and temperatures drop back in the low 40s. There's a live look 59 degrees northwest winds at 31 miles an hour. There are the flags in front of the Durham and you look at the Almanac page 6546. Those are temperatures not too far, slightly above average, but not too far what you'd expect this time of the year. Now down into the 50s and that northwest wind gusting 40 miles an hour here, 41 Plattsmouth, 40 Columbus and Norfolk. So widespread the wind across eastern Nebraska and western Iowa. There's our storm predictor and you see the partly cloudy skies, sprinkles and showers rotating down across the area. There's tomorrow morning. There's that area of low pressure over the Great Lakes. Wind and rain in Chicago. Really nasty day there. We will have some sunshine. Still, the strong northwest winds, though. Eastern Nebraska through Iowa, Missouri, Minnesota into Wisconsin, Illinois, Indiana. And as this area of high pressure west of us starts to get in here, the winds lighten up just a little bit as we go into Tuesday night and Wednesday. Windy and chilly tonight. Partly cloudy skies. 41 for the low temperature. Northwest winds 15 to 30. Still about that 8 a.m. tomorrow, so breezy in the morning, low 40s. So kids are going to make sure they have a good jacket, maybe a little hat. Not a bad idea. 54 is it at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Still windy. Northwest winds 20 to 40 miles an hour. All right, so chilly day here on Tuesday. Wednesday, though, back to 71 degrees for the high and not as windy. Another front comes in here on Thursday, so we'll turn windy during the day. Temperatures could actually drop a little bit on Thursday afternoon. Uh, Friday, cold day. Look at that. High temperature, 44 sprinkles and flurries possible on Ooh. Friday, along with strong northwest winds and then freezing temperatures on Saturday morning and Sunday morning. It's about time. Time to end flurries. the growing season here. I we don't want to hear that.